What's going on guys? Josh Sykes back with you for OutdoorNewsAmerica.com. As always, you know, if you like the content we're producing, if you like our short little product overview videos, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit that button down below. Give us a thumbs up. Leave us a comment or a suggestion if I can answer those. Like I say at every video, I will try to find an answer for you. If I can't find the answer, I'll go to the manufacturer and see if I can get the answer from them. I am really excited to show you guys something today, and I'm probably one of the first people uh, in the YouTube world to get my hands on one of these. As you know, if you've watched the channel, uh, or if you subscribe to the channel for any length of time, you see that over the last year, I have really become a big fan of High Point Firearms. I've reviewed several new products from High Point this last year, one being the JXP 10 millimeter that I absolutely loved, two being the 30 Super Carry carbine that I absolutely loved. Not only did we write articles about those, but we did YouTube videos about those. You can go back and see those on the channel. But in the studio with me today, High Point reached out and said, Josh, we've got something really cool to show you, to send you, and we want you to be one of the first ones to have your hands on this. This has been a long time of coming, and here it is, guys. Are you ready? This is the Yeet Cannon 9mm handgun from High Point Firearms. This has been in development for a few years by High Point, and let's talk a little bit about the history of this thing, and then we'll get into the details. This is just going to be my out-of-the-box video on the Yeet Cannon 9mm. I'm going to do two videos on this one. I'm going to do the overview video today on the product, and then I'm going to take it out to the range. I'm going to do some shooting. We're going to see how this thing performs actually on the range. But today is just a out-of-the-box overview. I want to go through all of the new developments on this handgun and share them with you so you can be educated on it. So, Yeet Cannon, where did that come from? Well, High Point came out with their 380 and they decided to do something fun with it. So they did a general survey out to the mass public. What do we call the new uh, 380? And the general public voted on the Yeet Cannon. Where that comes from, I gotta be honest with you, I don't really know, but it's fun to say. So that pistol was a huge success for High Point. So because of that success, High Point took it a step further and develop this new 9mm. Now, I want to go through this with you. I want to show you a lot of the bells and whistles of this thing. You'll notice there's several things different about this versus their standard C9 pistol. This one they refer to as the YC9, the Yeet Cannon 9mm. First and foremost, you'll see it printed there on the slide, Yeet Cannon. Now, if you're a High Point fan, you'll notice this is a very different looking slide High Point has on here. Some very cool seriations on the slide there, much different from their standard slide. You'll also see a rail on the front of the Yeet Cannon 9mm. Mine has a threaded barrel, which is really, really cool. You've got the thread adapter there that covers up the threaded barrel. So if you want to shoot suppressed, uh, you could easily do that. You don't have to if you don't want to, but you know, if you're going to buy this thing, uh, don't buy the one without the threaded barrel. Buy the one with the threaded barrel, unless you're in a state that that's illegal. Uh, this will be handy for you when you decide to start shooting suppressed. Uh, one cool feature that I saw on this has a back strap safety. How about that high point? Pretty darn cool. The grip on this is very different. They've added a little rubber uh, back strap uh, extender there to get a little more comfort in your hands. I think that back strap safety is very unique. I did not expect that from High Point, but it is a really neat feature. Now, the magazine, I wanna show this to you. High Point has done some upgrading, and this is one of the things in talking to High Point that took them a little bit longer uh, to get this out is the magazine. This is the new magazine for the Yeet Cannon 9mm, and it's a double to a single stack magazine. It's a 10 round magazine in the box. You actually get two of these magazines uh, when you order this. I wanna show you this grip too. Also, if you notice the, uh, the stippling on the grip there, it's a really nice uh, feel stippling on the grip. I don't know what that is on there. It almost looks like the High Point logo. Uh, Maybe that. 
uh, but it is really cool. The stippling on there is great. Um, you know, as with all high points, um, it's not the lightest gun in the world. It is a little heavy for a nine millimeter, but it's a yeet cannon. So it gets its name, I guess, for a reason. Now, some other cool features about this. This is, I wanna show you, this is the standard rear sight. I wanna see if my camera will focus on that. This is the standard rear sight that comes with the high point. And I've taken mine off. And if you've noticed, I've decided to go with uh, an optic on the back of there. This is my GPO, German Precision Optics Red Dot. German Precision sent this in to me uh, for this review. And I'm gonna also be reviewing this Red Dot on the Yeet Cannon. But if you notice here, there's a Picatinny rail on the back. So you can actually take this sight off you can put the pick rail on it. You can mount uh, just about any sort of optic or RMR on the back of that. It does come with a plate, and I believe that plate is actually for a Crimson Trace red dot. So if you've got a Crimson Trace, uh, it comes with a plate already for that. Uh, I don't know that that's included in the box. I think you've got to order those two things extra from High Point, but they're not very much money, like 20 bucks. Uh, you can get those accessories. I would recommend getting them. I think that's one of the coolest things about this is the ability to have some modularity uh, to this system. But yeah, so I've got my small uh, red dot optic on here. That's how I'm gonna shoot it. That's how I'm gonna test it. But I did wanna show you the out of box sights. These are adjustable sights from High Point. There's a little spring inside here so this can be moved down, up. Uh, you can adjust it left and right as well. Really nice rear sight. There's the front sight. I think you can see there. It's got a nice um, uh, big yellow dot on that front sight. So all in all, really cool features uh, on the high point. Still has the standard uh, high point safety right there. That's If you know anything about high point, all of them have that same safety feature there on them. This thing feels feels really cool in my hand. I like it. I like the way it feels. I like that added back strap there. Really neat. You're probably going to find these in the store 200, 225, uh, maybe 250, somewhere in that range, probably closer to the 250 when they're first launched. Uh, but High Point is able to really maximize their manufacturing. I don't think you're going to have a problem finding these uh, once they're launched and once, once they're out. So a couple of things I want to tell you about. Um, one of the reasons I've become a fan of High Point is because they go bang, they function, they shoot, and their price point is phenomenal. I can buy four of these for the price of some other handguns, and I tell you the way that I utilize High Point is for hiking, camping. I have one on top of my refrigerator. I've got one in the bathroom. I've got one strategically placed in several rooms in my house. So, so in my home, I'm never in a room without protection for my family. I've always got something there. High Point allows me to have multiple guns on an affordable price point, multiple guns that actually perform. And that's one of the most impressive things to me about High Point is the fact that they can mass produce these products at such a low price point and they perform. They're made in the USA, uh, lifetime warranty on the product. I mean, I don't see where, you know, they get a bad rap, honestly. I, I, don't, I don't see that. I don't see that in their products. Um, I think they're really, really cool. Uh, I've kind of become a cult fan of High Point and what High Point is putting out. So anyway, this is my out of the box review of the High Point Yeet Cannon YC9. I think this is going to be extremely popular for High Point this year. Look them up, add this to your repertoire. Keep an eye out for video two. Hopefully the next two or three days we'll have video two out uh, that shows us actually, shows me shooting this High Point. We're going to take it to the range, probably do some testing at 10 yards. See if we can get a lot of good center mass, see if it cycles uh, as it should, see if it cycles a couple of different types of nine millimeter ammo. Yeah, just really, really cool. I like it a lot and I think you will too. Till next time, we'll talk to you soon.